The next snake on our list are wrinkles. And you can see first off it's a very cloudy day. Secondly, you can see a lot of pylons, trucks driving on the hills, places like that. But this is actually quite ideal habitat for wrinkles. They're one of the few snakes that have learned to cohabitate with man very well. Just across the hills, there where the trucks are driving, there's a lot of homesteads, a lot of farmhouses and things like that. A lot of these farmers farm with, with chickens, they've got hatcheries, uh, you know, there's always a ready water source. The wrinkles find an easy meal just to go visit a farmer, have, a, have himself a baby chick, something like that. Well, the problem with that is that farmers, in general, haven't learned to cohabitate with the wrinkles very well. So usually when they spot the snake, dead snake. About 10% of these farmers do find people to come and fetch them, but it is actually very rare that it happens. This is definitely one of the guys we wanted to find. He's obviously looking for a little bit of heat. He's found this little spot. It feels kind of warm. So I think the stones do give off a bit of heat. But he's still quite cold. He's not really willing to defend himself. He sees me as a threat. All he does, turns up, makes so he's going to die. Looks like a dead snake. He's thinking that I'm dead. Leave me alone. Can't be any fun. Can't fight back. I'm just a dead snake. And I'm gonna lie. Now this is what makes Runkals one of the more dangerous snakes in Southern Africa, is this playing dead. As kids will come along, or a pet or something will come along, snake will play dead like that. They think the snake is dead, pick it up. Snake all of a sudden react quite violently to being picked up, probably bite out. This guy is an exceptionally good actor. He's staying dead. He's, he's saying, I'm dead. Doesn't matter what you do, I'm a dead snake. But he's not all that convincing. As you can see, he keeps sticking his tongue out. Just wants to know if I'm anywhere around him, anywhere near him. If we put him down, he's just going to roll over and die again. I think we're going to leave the camera on him for just a little bit. We'll see if he wakes up, revives himself, goes on his way.
this is a typical leopard inside of the mouth I, in other words the cobras, the mambas short fangs in the front of the mouth they're fixed, they can't move like viper fangs take a look, see if we can't give you a nice close up of that take a look there fangs sharp sharp needle sharp short fixed front little fangs now along with playing dead like this guy is so aptly proving Runcast have also got many other methods of defending themselves what they'll also do is they'll stand rear up like a cobra spread a hood show it off tell you listen I'm dangerous I'm big leave me alone what they also do is they bite most of, like most other snakes do and then they've also got another unique little self-defense mechanism is that they spit venom it's not as effective as say Mozambique spitting cobras which is very accurate to whatever the case may be these guys really just fling it like a slingshot which means that when, if they have to if they want to spit venom they have to rear up to do so kind of fling it forward it also means it's not quite as accurate they just really fling it in a general direction we're like a Mozambique spitting cobra would be like a, a proper hunting rifle the Runkhouse is more like a shotgun just spraying it in a general direction the effect is very similar and also giving you temporary blindness if you don't wash it out it can result in permanent scarring That's it, off you go son, have a good life. Stay away from the farmers, okay? <laughs>